been about a month since we put the teenage chickens into the big coop to get them adjusted. So today we're going to be letting them out of their little isolation box and introducing them into the big flock. All right, so we got the big chickens out and we're gonna let these guys into the run and let them adjust for a little bit before we let the big chickens in to meet them. We're gonna take everything off of these guys. Now that they're all in there and running around, you can probably tell that we need to freshen up their run a little bit. So we got a fresh bale of straw and we're gonna throw that in there for them. I like to leave the straw in a little bit of a fail shape. That gives them a little something to do, kicking that out and spreading it. And they're pretty good at getting that evenly spread out. So I'm going to be watching them for the rest of the day and making sure that the big chickens aren't picking on them or anything. So we got the I Am Chimami still sitting in their brooder. As you can see, they're getting a little bit crowded in there. I don't think I mentioned yet, but we did get a couple new birds. You can see them running around the white one. And one, that little gray one. There's one more in here. And there's another gray one. Those are uh, their blue egg layers and some olive green egg layers that we ordered. And they're just just about as old as the I am Shimamis, maybe a week or two younger. But we're gonna get these guys moved out to our little halfway coop over here, just because they don't have as much room in the little brooder give them a little bit of room to run around so we got their food and water and everything set up so we're gonna get those guys moved over and i'll check back in with you a couple of these new birds we got. I'm not sure which ones are which, but they should be laying some pretty much like robin egg blue eggs and some dark green eggs. Now, one thing I do like to do with these guys is they've never used the nipples on the watering can. So I'm gonna try to grab one or two of them and stick their beaks in there so they know where to get water from. we have one of them he should start showing the other birds they're pretty curious and they'll all go over and look what he's doing and then go and follow suit next thing that we have to do is go and water the garden so we've got a just a little temporary pipe going all the way down there we are going to bury that but just for right now uh we didn't haven't rented a trencher or anything so we just have it run over the top of the ground but we are planning to bury that Let's go down there and get those waters. So we got 
garden watered and pick some of the weeds, but you can probably tell we're gonna have to do a lot more weed picking if we wanna keep this under control because this is pretty much a brand new little garden. So all the grass and weeds and everything that used to grow here, are still trying to poke up. Been keeping it a little bit under control, but we definitely need to do a little bit more weed picking. So next we have to get some cages to put around our tomatoes over here. And then we also need to finish up the electric fence. We do not have the ground wire in yet, so it is not operational. So we're gonna try to tackle that next. So we did a couple of things with the garden. We finally got our grounding rod into here. We got that going up there. This is like a six foot rod that we beat in there. And it's grounding this and the wire's all live now. Next thing we did is we set up a trellis area for the beans to grow up and then we had a lot of weeding to do in the garden so because this is so new it just seems like every single day we pick out a crap ton of weeds out of the garden. You can kind of see everything spread around here so I think once we get a little bit farther into the summer, it, we should start dying down and burning out a little bit because we've only been watering the actual plants because we don't have a sprinkler. We don't really have enough pressure to get that down here. All right, so to clean the chicken coop, it's actually a pretty easy process. We've got these two doors that we have here. Those two slide open. And then we've also got this lower door here. That's to get, just kind of scrape everything in here. And we got the bobcat in the bucket right there. So it should just be a pretty easy move from in there into the bucket into our compost pile. So we're gonna get that going. We're gonna get this all cleaned out and put some new bedding in there for them. We got that all cleaned out and we have it sitting over here just ready to compost so we got the old compost there that was from the lady who was here before us she had goats so that was all the goat bedding and everything so i figured we just move our compost over here and keep it in the same spot so now go back over to the chicken coop and we're going to put in all the new cedar shavings in there so you can see in here, this is what's left. It's not completely cleaned out, but you can tell that there's not really any caked on poop or anything from the chickens. So we've just got a PVC board all around the edge and on the bottom. That keeps all the moisture from going into the wood. So take these pine shavings and throw those in there. All right, we got that in. And as you can see, it's not all the way to the top. So what I like to do is just put a good base there and slowly as it gets a little bit dirtier, we can mix it up and add a little bit more of the shavings on top. But that should set us for the uh, next about year or so, a year, or six months. It kind of depends on how many chickens you have, but I got away with doing a year last time. So let's, we'll see how long this one lasts. We've got another update about the I Am Chimamis. We unfortunately had a bit of a predator problem with them and some raccoons got into their uh, brooder box and killed eight of them. Five of them were our I Am Chicks and three of them were the other chicks that we had. So we got them inside the 
big poop now. <laughs> Just temporarily until we can move them outside into their other coop. So they should be safe in here. And we've been taking care of the predator problem. We've already caught three of the raccoons. So that should be taking care of the majority of the problem. I think that's about all we have for today. So I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Stay. Go up. Go into the garage. Go into the garage. No. No. Shut it.